Hey everyone, the new Star Wars The Force Awakens teaser trailer number two is out and we're going to take a look at it right now and we're going to answer this question after the video. Is Star Wars back? Has J.J. Abrams succeeded in bringing all us fans back to Star Wars? And I really hope he has because I have a lot of faith in the guy. I think he's a great director. And without any further ado, let's watch the new the new teaser trailer. Sorry, and we are going to take a look at it now. Okay, come on, come on, green screen, move it. Lucasfilm, move it. All right, new logo, silver. Desert planet. X Wing. Star Destroyer crashed. Alright, look at that shot. That's such a beautiful picture. The force is strong in my family. My father has it. Dark Vader. Sister has it. Leia. Leia. You have that power too. <laughs> oh, look at that scene. This is, this is awesome. This is just awesome, man. Chewie, we're home. You are home. Oh my god, look at that. Han Solo, Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker's voice, Princess Leia's hand, R2-D2, man. J.J. Abrams, you nailed it, buddy. You nailed it. Thank you so much. You know, this is like the old Star Wars is back with the new characters, the new story, but it has all the elements of the old Star Wars. You know, it was just, you were just waiting for this, You're waiting for these characters to come back. And um, from the look of that trailer, I think, I, I bet you that J.J. Abrams is going to have, this movie is going to be really, really good. Um, look at Look at the stuff that we saw in that trailer. There you see the desert planet again, which I read um, something that the, the, the planet is actually not Tatooine. Uh, thank God for that. I mean, you know, it's such a big galaxy and Tatooine in every movie. It's kind of, I just hope they don't show Tatooine. Now, this is a new planet called Jakku. All right. This was announced by J.J. Abrams in the Star Wars celebration in Anaheim a couple of days ago. So we see a new planet called Jakku. Um, I wonder if we get to see Coruscant in this movie, which is the capital planet of the galaxy. And and there's another interesting thing I just noticed. Now, when, when Han Solo says, Chewie, we're home. So, if you remember, Han Solo is from the Karelian star system, which we've heard a lot about in, in, in the books and in the comics and in other things, but we've never really seen... The Karelian star system in a Star Wars movie. So, what if that's where Han Solo actually is? Because he says Chewie, we're home. So, where's home? Unless that's unless he's talking about the Millennium Falcon. I don't know. But anyways, that'll be cool to see uh, the Karelian star system in there. And uh, Darth Vader's helmet. Uh, you know, we see Darth Vader's helmet in this in this um, trailer. Now, if you guys remember, the last place where Darth Vader's body was, or his suit was, on Endor, when Luke Skywalker cremates his father. Uh, so, obviously, that helmet has to have come from Endor. So, do we actually see Endor, or uh, is it somebody's taken that thing and brought it to whatever planet they're on? So, we don't know about that. We've also heard rumors that Yavin, uh, which is 
uh, in episode four, the the Jedi, um, the Re- sorry, the rebel base is on the, the moon of Yavin. So maybe we see Yavin. Who knows? Um, and in that, in that shot where they show those stormtroopers and that red flag, if you look closely, you'll see there's a black, um, there's a person wearing black right, right in the middle. So, you know, who is that ominous figure? Is he like the new emperor? Is he uh, Kylo Ren, the Sith guy? And if you, if you notice in that, in that um, scene, uh, you see the background, you see a lot of ice mountains there. So it's kind of like... Is it Hoth or some other ice planet? Who knows? It's a big galaxy, guys. I mean, there are billions of stars in in a galaxy. So I I really hope we get to see new planets as well as new characters. Uh, We saw some new spaceships in there as well as old ones. We saw a crashed X-Wing. We saw a crashed Star Destroyer in the first scene. That's the old model Star Destroyer. But later on in the trailer, you see a new model Star Destroyer, which looks a little different. The X-Wings are a little more modern, and uh, I think they have different colors on them. I think you see some blue uh, stripes in there instead of the, just the red ones. Uh, the Stormtroopers uniform is changed. Okay, and now here's, here's another thing. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Now, if you didn't notice this, watch the trailer again, preferably with headphones. Because in the first scene where you hear Luke Skywalker saying, The Force is strong in my family. My father has it. I have it and my sister has it. Listen very carefully. There's an echo in there, guys. There's an echo. So he, it's like my fa- the force is strong in my family. The force is strong in my family. My father has it. My father has it. Like that. So you hear that. So what is going on here? Is this some sort of a spirit talking or what? I mean, is it Luke Skywalker with some other kind of a ghostly voice in the background or what's going on? Okay. Then, now he talks about family in this trailer. All right, and just about everything that we hear in this trailer, the only words we really hear are connected to family and home. So he says, you know, he's talking about family, and then they show Daisy Ridley, uh, the new girl in the movie. They show her two times in this trailer, and, and they show John Boyega, I think, two or three times too. So what's the connection? I mean, Daisy Ridley, I can understand. I, I'm, I'm willing to bet my money that she is uh, Leia and uh, Han's daughter. All right. Um, I bet you she's Leia and Han's daughter. But where does John Boyega, the, the, the stormtrooper, fit in here? Well, it's interesting um, because they showed him so many times. So he, he's probably some kind of family. Now, how could he be family? Um, well, here's a theory that I think probably I'm the first one to actually think about this, guys. But give it a thought. Star Wars is a lot about spirituality, right? Now, in the first, uh, the original trilogy, we see spirit apparitions of obi-wan kenobi yoda at the end and then you also see anakin skywalker uh so it's a lot about spirituality and spirits and stuff like that so what if this new movie actually has a more of a spiritual angle to it what if all right now here's my theory think about it before just writing me off all right john boyega in this in this um, trailer looks to be probably in his early to mid 20s all right and this is 30 years after Return of the Jedi. So what if John Boyega, or this stormtrooper, I forget the character's name, is the reincarnation of Anakin Skywalker? Oh man, that would be so awesome, wouldn't it, dude? I mean, what if John Boyega is actually the, the spirit of Anakin Skywalker who's come back, he's taken another birth to sort of make up for all the stuff that he did as Darth Vader. I mean, that would be a real karmic angle to this story, wouldn't it? And why not? You know, why not? It's a totally new angle to it. And Star Wars is a very spiritual movie, guys. So, you know, you never know. That's my theory. I might be wrong, but who knows? I might be right. Maybe we'll just have to wait. And, but one thing's for sure. Star Wars is back, people. It is back. All right? Love you guys and just, I mean, let's just hope we get new trailers. But from the look of things, this movie is going to rock. See you people and can't wait for Christmas. It's going to be the best Christmas of my life. See you.